Uh, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Eric Mbuthia. I'll be your doctor today. And thank you so much for using our virtual clinic. How may I help you today? The demand for online medical services has increased globally during the COVID-19 pandemic as patients seek to reduce infection by keeping social distance. Dr. Eric Mbuthia of Access Afia, a digital healthcare service provider, says that they have noticed an increase in the number of virtual patients since the outbreak of COVID-19. What we have seen is that there's been an increase in interest in use of the platform post-COVID. Uh, what I think all healthcare providers have uh, noticed and can probably confirm is a decrease in the number of visits to physical facilities. Uh, it could be caused uh, maybe by fear from patients, you know, visiting hospitals, uh, you know, uh, just being worried about uh, contracting uh, coronavirus infection and COVID-19. Access Afia has been running a virtual clinic M. Daktari for at least a year. According to Dr. Mbuthia, the adoption of telemedicine is slowly becoming common in Kenya. This has been, I guess, uh, an ongoing journey. We've had platforms from as early as 2012, um, some even supported by the larger telcos in the country. Um, and we've had a few players come in and exit from the market uh, in that time. The doctor says the platform receives virtual patients of different gender and age groups from across the country. Through our platform, we have managed patients as far as Homer Bay. Uh, we've managed patients in their homes. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we've had a patient call when he's on his farm. You know, in terms of ease of managing or convenience, things like headache, sleep disturbance, have algorithms. You know, so typically, almost any condition that has a clear algorithm could be potentially followed up by telemedicine. Some are a little bit tricky and would definitely need an in-person session. For instance, if somebody has an earache, you know, you need to look at the ear. So how do you set up an online consultation? We have clinicians and we are building a cohort of clinicians just to make sure we have as many specialties covered. Uh, so what typically happens is a clinician such as myself may set my, if I can call it, availability, which just says that I am available to take consults between a certain time block. What would then happen next is that as a patient, um, you would maybe land on our site. You can choose to start a consultation or book a consultation with a clinician directly or um, you could choose to have the system select the next available uh, clinician for you. So yeah, the minute the uh, consultation is booked, then you know uh, you and the clinician both join this video call. Again, a secure connection, uh, encrypted, uh, just to make sure that you know the kind of privacy and confidentiality of the interaction is protected and preserved. And then, you know, your standard conversation with the doctor happens. The platform faces challenges such as poor internet connection and lack of technological literacy. However, telemedicine not only reduces the distance between doctors and their patients, but also offers a cheaper alternative to face-to-face -to -face consultations. A 15-minute session costs about 300 shillings. Uh, a pretty recent uh, report by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation states that 90% uh, of cases can be managed in the outpatient setting. And then another more recent study says that up to about 20-30% of those could actually be managed um, via remotely via telehealth or telemedicine solutions. Telemedicine has huge potential in Kenya and the world at large.